Let's talk with Robbie McClellan about uh, what we just saw this last weekend. He is the head coach of NJIT Baseball, longtime assistant there at NJIT, and took over as the interim in August 2018, been the head coach for the last two seasons, three seasons. And, uh, Rob, Coach McClellan, appreciate you joining us. This is the day after the day after you guys return home. Um, it's, it seems your team had a singular experience that maybe they would not have expected when they showed up in Fayetteville for the regional. Yeah, I think that's a uh, very fair and uh, great way to put it. Um, I don't know what it was about us, or but the Arkansas faithful kind of seemed to really enjoy our kids and really enjoy our fans, so it was a special experience for everyone involved in it. So, had you ever been to Arkansas before the regional, or was this the was this your introduction to the natural state? No, I've actually been to Arkansas before. I'm from Kansas, so I've kind of mm-hmm. grown up around the the area. So, um, I had been to Arkansas before. Um, I kind of had an idea what to expect, but I had no idea that it was going to be um, that intense, and they were going to show us that much love. You know, it, it looked like your guys are a very loose group of guys anyway. They play the game with joy, you know, and none of them are probably none of them are going to on to professional careers. You know, you, you got a, a, an engineering school and it, it's a technology school, and I'm sure they're all extremely bright and have, you know, other careers planned out for themselves. And it just seemed that their attitudes, the way they play the game of baseball was noticeable, and it, I think that fits with, the welcoming atmosphere that Razorback fans have. And it just seemed like a perfect fit. If I could like answer your question as you don't know how it happened, I think your your players' attitudes is is a reason why it happened the way it did. Oh well, well I mean I think that and thanks for the kind words. I think we play the game um really hard. Um I do think that you know I guess maybe the Arkansas people enjoyed that, but I think it's just um, really gratifying that our kids um, are are able to play in front of the the big stage, and, and they were able to perform pretty well. And I think that was uh, pretty cool that you know they they were able to perform so well. And I think that's just you know maybe some of the situations we have to deal with here, um, and and it made it even that much more special. NJIT head coach Robbie McClellan joining us here on halftime. Coach, I thought one of the coolest things was like seeing the stories of you guys going to one of our our station friends JJ's Grill in Fayetteville. You guys went to Sassy's and you did, got to see all the places. But I think the coolest thing for us was just like us cheering you guys on, and then you guys returning the favor, and then seeing you guys out in the hog pen. Before I talk about the hog pen, like who initiated the idea of kind of like returning the favor and coming to support the Razorbacks when they took on Nebraska on I believe that would have been Saturday night. Uh, you know, that's, I don't really know how that happened. It just happened kind of like everything the whole weekend. Um, I think that our, our kids just were so blown away by the, um, respect that and, and, and fan appreciation that we got that they just wanted to go experience it one more time. And then when they showed up, I guess they had a, you know, a police escort into the, to the, to the big show. And, um, they, were taking shirts off their back. People wanted NJIT baseball shirts, and, and they just wanted to show support to the people that had supported them so much throughout the course of the week. That's awesome. And you guys got to hang out in the hog pen for a couple of those games and one of the more fun, rowdy atmospheres. And I'm sure, you're, I'm sure your boys had a lot of fun sitting out there in the outfield in the hog pen with probably Phil. Is it fair to say like the, the – the, I don't know how to describe the fans that sit out in the hog pen, but just like just that crew of fans that were out there with those You boys. know how I describe it. It's an outdoor nightclub with a baseball game going on <laughs> behind it. <laughs> well, I know that every uh, player that I talked to that went to the hog pen uh, said they had the time of their life. So I didn't get too much into it besides that. But I know that um, just some of the things, you know, pictures that were sent or, you know, that went out over social media, um, it was just a a unique experience. Um, I can't describe it, really. It seemed like we showed up literally to Arkansas. And then before you know it, you know, they were calling this uh, Hoglanders, I think, or something like that. So it just seemed like a, a unique experience. And I know speaking to... Um, our SID department that, you know, there's still a lot of love and a lot of outreach from, from the Arkansas fans. So I think it's an experience that our kids will definitely never forget, but I think it's something that I think next year, you know, Arkansas will 
check in and see how we're doing, and we're, we'll definitely check and see how they're doing. I think it was, it was a pretty cool situation. Well, you mentioned checking in and seeing how you're doing, and obviously I think this relationship between your, your school and the Razorbacks will definitely stay intact. So did you guys catch the game last night? Did you get to catch the thriller that was in Baumwalker Stadium last night with the Razorbacks and the Cornhuskers? <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I definitely watched, and I know that we're doing exit meetings with our kids today. Um, we got back yesterday, and they're all heading out to play summer ball, but, um, you know, I think all of our kids were were definitely watching. They talked about the game, um, you know, talked about the, the couple big homers early on and then the, the wild pitch and then the, you know, the big hit that really put the game away. So it was just kind of surreal too, you know, 24 hours ago you're there playing and then you flip on ESPN2, it's a national televised game, and you're like, man, we just played against those guys. So that was a, a cool experience for us to be able to watch the game last night and uh, – I think our our guys were definitely rooting for the Hogs. Coach McClellan pitched two years in uh, junior college and then two years at Arizona State before he had uh, had a had a professional career. Then got into coaching. Now, now, uh, Coach McClellan, you were part of a, of a couple of regionals at Arizona State, and you played with some dudes on that team too: Andre Ethier, Dustin Pedroia, Ian Kinsler, and um, I saw you guys made it to the super regional against what was it Fullerton in uh, in twenty oh three. You, you yep. played for Pat Murphy, who is now, uh, th- is he still the bench coach for the Milwaukee Brewers? He is, yes, still the bench coach. That's right. And Mike Rooney, too, everybody knows is one of the great analysts. I mean, you've uh, you've you've played with some great players. You've played for some great coaches, my man. Yeah, no, I've, I tell people all the time, baseball has kind of, you know, taken me from a small town in Kansas to, to, to all over the world, and my time at um, Arizona State was absolutely amazing. Um, we were on a team that was very similar to the current Arkansas team. We were number one in the country for, um, you know, quite a bit of that season. I think we ended up having 15 guys off that team picked in the first 15 rounds of the draft, wow. um, playing for Coach Rooney and um, Coach Murphy were exceptional experiences. Um, and then just the, the super regional aspect, it was, to, to this day, probably the thing I regret most in, in, in my career. Um, you know, I didn't have a very good opening night. We lost that game. And then I think I pitched Sunday, if I recall correctly, and did okay. But it's one of those things when you're so close to, to Omaha, you just want to get there. And um, w- we just didn't get it done as a team. But, um, you know, that's kind of why I went to Arizona State. I thought I had a really good shot of getting drafted and, and going to Omaha. But... You know, I think that um, when stakes are so high, you play two really good teams. Um, You know, it's just it's a special experience. And I loved my time at Arizona State. So um, I've I guess I've lived a unique um, baseball experience, I guess is a good way to put it. Um, And now I'm at NJIT and um, love it here. And I guess kind of. The Arkansas faithful kind of helped put us on the map on the big stage, so it's been a, it's been a wild ride. But I'm thankful for everything that baseball has brought me. So you you've been in New Jersey, and I mean you're a, you're a Kansas native who played in Arizona, yep. and now you've been in New yep. Jersey for what eight nine years, right? Yeah, I think this is my tenth year. They all just kind of run together. So, but yeah, I've been out here quite a long time. So what exit do you live at? Uh, I live at exit one. So, that is the question um, you're supposed to ask anybody from New Jersey, right? Like, that's the inside joke in Jersey. Yeah, and um, I guess uh, the, the question for you guys is, do you say root or route? <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> well, <I'm>, see, <laughs> should, should, do, does New Jersey still have the toll booth that they used to have? Is it still re- – they call it the Garden State. It really should have been called the toll booth. Yes. Are they still there? Yeah, uh, that's one thing I had to learn out here. I had to get the easy pass very quick. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they, they, they send you those tickets in the mail, and it's, it's not a good situation. So I, I have my easy pass. It's ready to go. So what does the off season look like for the head coach of NJIT Baseball? You got your exit interviews. Um, what are the next, the what are the next few months and, like for you? Uh, exit interviews and then uh, just, you know, back on the, the recruiting trail and um, watch our guys throughout the the course of summer baseball. See how they're doing, and then before you know it, fall baseball will be here, and we'll try to have a productive fall and lead right up into the spring. And 
we think we're going to have a pretty good team next year. We return a lot of our, our key and main pieces, and then hopefully uh, we can get win the conference and get back to another regional. That's kind of kind of the goal that, that we're going to set for ourselves, and we'll see how it goes. You know you've got fans here in, in Arkansas that are trying to start a GoFundMe to, to, <laughs> to help build a stadium or a field for NJIT baseball. I know you've, you, you, you guys haven't had your own home field. You know, is that something that you, I'm not asking like, do you want the fans money and stuff like that? Is that something that hopefully will occur for NJIT? Because, you know, now you've, you, you've won your first regional game. That's something that other established programs don't even have regional wins in their program history. Is there a chance that maybe, you know, there's some momentum to get a field for the program? Yeah, there's actually definitely momentum to get a field for the program. Um, yesterday on the flight home, uh, set by our athletic director, Lenny Kaplan. And, um, our main problem right now is just finding a plot of land that is big enough and close enough to school. So, um, in Arkansas, there's so much free land, you know, it'd be pretty easy to build a baseball field. Us being located in a, a big city, there's not a ton of, ton of land around. So I know that they're actively seeking a plot of land big enough to, um, put a baseball field on. And I think that, um, hopefully our success maybe moves up that timeline, but I do know that it's something that they are actively looking for. Good, good. You guys deserve it. You really Absolutely do. You run, you run a great team. We appreciated the way you guys played and how you bought into the atmosphere at Baum. And, and hopefully, hopefully these guys, you know, start making some trips to Arkansas because, um, they're beloved here. They're beloved here. And we appreciate your time, Coach McClellan. Thanks, Thanks Coach. for coming on. Hey, thanks a lot, and thanks to everyone uh, in Arkansas who made our time special, and uh, thank you guys for giving some positive um, light on our university. I know our kids really appreciate it. The university appreciates it, and I really appreciate it, so thanks again. You got it. You got it. It's our pleasure, and I think I could speak on, on behalf of the state for that. We really appreciate that. Halftime's brought to you by Wheels RV in Springdale. Home of all the best brands at the best prices. Grand Design, Forest River, KZ, Heartland, Keystone, Alliance. You'll also enjoy peace of mind with a lifetime warranty on every new purchase. Plus, there's a mobile service shuttle that'll keep you camping. So go on in, discover why Wheels RV has been voted best RV dealership in northwest Arkansas. You'll find them five miles west, right off the interstate, exit 72. Seek, explore, discover with Wheels RV. We're getting get off my lawn, off my lawn, and just a little bit of a Razorback update next.